Good morning, guys. I'm going to read to you a story this morning from one of my favorite children's Bibles. It's called the Jesus Storybook Bible. And the story we're going to read today is called The Friend of Little Children. So I'm going to read along and I'll show you the pictures as I'm reading. It says, Jesus's friends were arguing. Who was the most important helper in God's kingdom? They wanted to know. I am, James said. No, you're not, said Peter. I am. Nonsense, Matthew said. I'm the cleverest. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, no. Am too. The silliness went on and on like that for some time. You see, Jesus's friends had started to think that they had to do something to make themselves special to Jesus. That if they were the cleverest or the nicest or something, Jesus would like them the best feel that way sometimes. I know that with my four kids, they like to argue sometimes to see who maybe I like the best or who their daddy likes the best, but they don't need to do that. We like each of them for who they are. But they had forgotten something, something God had been teaching his people all through the years, that no matter how clever you are or how good you are or how rich you are or how nice you are or how important you are, none of it makes any difference. Because God's love is a gift, and as anyone will tell you, the whole thing about a gift is, it's free. All you have to do is reach out your hands and take it. So while Jesus' friends were arguing, some people who knew all about getting gifts, in fact, you might say they were the gift experts, had come to see Jesus. Who were they? Well, they were little children. Look at this great picture. We've got children playing and Jesus is sitting with one special child right there. Jesus's helpers tried to send them away. Jesus doesn't have time for you, they said. He's too tired. But they were wrong. Jesus always had time for children. Don't ever send them away, Jesus said. Bring the little ones to me. Now, if you had been there, what do you think? Would you have, would you have had to line up quietly to see Jesus? Do you think Jesus would have asked you how good you'd been before he'd give you a hug? Would you have had to be on your best behavior and get dressed up and not speak until you're spoken to? Hmm. Or would you have done just what these children did? Run straight up to Jesus and let him pick you up in his arms and swing you and kiss you and hug you and then sit you on his lap and listen to your stories and your chats. You see, children love Jesus, and they knew they didn't need to do anything special for Jesus to love them. All they needed to do was to run into his arms, and so that's just what they did. Well, after all the laughing and games, Jesus turned to his helpers and said, No matter how big you grow, never grow up so much that you lose your child's heart, full of trust in God. Be like these children, they are the most important in my kingdom. Did you know that Jesus loves you? It doesn't matter if you're still small and growing. Jesus loves your childlike faith, and he loves when you spend time getting to know him. So read your Bible and pray. Talk to him. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.